am Karen. Welcome to my kitchen. Like you, I am still stuck in the house. <laughs> and I'm sure you're getting tired of trying to come up with interesting things to cook when there's not a lot of ingredients on hand. And nobody wants to go grocery shopping because you have to like wrap your whole body and have goggles and masks and gloves and you're like, you're going to like the motherland of germs. So we're working on finding things that we can make that are simple, that are easy, that are tasty. You can make them with ingredients you probably already have right in your pantry. And today we are going to make Thai peanut noodles. So the first thing, I've got eight ounces of um, linguine boiling on the stove. And ideally you would use fettuccine, but I didn't have any. And you can use spaghetti, you can use whatever kind of pasta you want. Eight ounces for about 10 minutes and some nice salted water. And while that's going on, I'm gonna get my peanut sauce. And it's so easy and quick and so good. And let's see, I'm gonna get started. I've got just a bowl here. And I'm gonna start out with a quarter cup plus one tablespoon of peanut butter. So I'm gonna just plop that in my bowl. And to that, I'm gonna add a quarter cup of soy sauce. So I'm gonna put it in kind of slowly and I'm gonna whisk it together. Cause it will get kind of messy if you just dump it in all at once. The peanut butter is kind of thick. We're gonna whisk that together. It's gonna take a little bit. We are gonna heat it up a little bit, which will help speed things or speed the emulsifying along. But to that, I am gonna add just a few ingredients that I happen to have in my pantry. And the first one is a tablespoon of rice vinegar. If you don't have rice vinegar, you can use apple cider vinegar, you can use white vinegar. But if you have rice vinegar, even better. I'm gonna add also a teaspoon of sesame oil. And if you don't have sesame oil, just you can leave it out. And you can put olive oil if you want, but you don't really need it. It's just adding a tiny bit of flavor to that. And then I'm gonna add some seasoning. I've got half of a teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm gonna dump that in. I have a quarter of a teaspoon of dried ginger. All these things right in the spice rack. Still stir and mix in. So I've got one tablespoon of brown sugar. I'm mixing that in there. And I'm also gonna add one tablespoon of honey. Put that in there. Now, I'm just gonna pop this in the microwave for about 40 seconds. And we're just about done. Make sure you take your whisk out though. Don't want metal in the microwave. Those are just about done. Actually, yeah, 40 seconds, 45. And all you're doing is heating it up so it'll kind of get a little kind of thinner, I guess. Let's see how, how much thinner that's gotten. Now I'm gonna put it in just for 10 more seconds while I drain the pasta, because that's ready too. And I figured out how much this would cost to make. Just I just measured out the ingredients and the prices of the goods. It comes out to about less than $2.50 for this whole thing that I'm making. And this will feed four people. So let's see, let's pour that on top. I'm just mixing that through. It smells so delicious. I mean, this really is just as good as any of the, you know, if you go to Thai restaurants, this is as good as anything you'll find there. I'm just gonna chop up some scallions. And these will just make a nice garnish and add a little bit of flavor. I'm just gonna sprinkle them on top at the end. I'm gonna pour these out into our platter. Ooh, there we go. Now, if you had any chicken um, that you could just kind of toss it up in a pan, throw some grilled chicken on there, scrambled egg and kind of make it more like pad thai, mix it in with all the sauce. But I'm gonna top it with my scallions. And since I happened to have 87,000 pounds of peanuts, I took about three tablespoons, gave those a nice rough chop. I'm just gonna sprinkle those on top. And look at how beautiful and delicious that it is. So thank you for, for stopping by. This was, I had a great time. This was really fast and simple. I'll see you next time. We might do dessert. Next time we cook out of the pantry from, from the heart.